When a woman gives up her child for adoption, we think of that decision as voluntary. The legality of the adoption is contingent on her decision being reasonably informed and voluntarily made. We know that any woman facing circumstances where the solution seems to be giving up a child is in a really vulnerable place, and so no perfectly voluntary decision is actually possible. But what would being informed mean? How is a woman meant to be prepared for the decades that follow giving up a child? The agency told me that I would be sad and I would get over it and it would be okay. That is not how I would describe the last 23 years. We're inviting birth and first mothers to tell their stories. What would informed consent have meant to you? Knowing what you know now, what would you want yourself to have known then to have made a more informed decision? We know that informed consent isn't really possible. No one can know the future, but we birth and first mothers can tell our stories and increase awareness of the full spectrum of all the ins and outs of the way that this grief can work in our lives so that women today can make a more informed decision.